welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming one of my favourite videos which is a Primark haul. I took myself there the other week to see their new autumn range. I've been seeing it all over TikTok so I wanted to go and see it for myself and although I feel like not all of their stuff is out yet for autumn winter time, they still had a good amount in which is very exciting so I managed to pick up a couple of bits that I like. So let's get into the haul and I'll show you guys what I got. Okay so first of all of course they had a load of like knitted jumpers cardigans all that stuff a couple of knitted stuff that i really liked they didn't have in my size which was really sad but one of the things that i picked up was this cute knitted jumper it has the little unbuttoned collar and it's just cream and black stripes which i love because it's just very neutral so it will go with a lot of like bottoms and stuff and i got this in a size medium so that it would be quite like oversized i didn't want to get one that would like fit me perfectly it has to be like nice and oversized and just like it's just more comfortable okay i'm not 100 percent sure if i do like this jumper and if i'm gonna keep it i really don't know i don't know the way that it fits is just kind of strange like i feel like it i don't really know how to explain it like it's quite short, it's not very long, and like this collar bit I'm not really sure about. I really don't know if I like it enough to keep it. It is really warm and soft and like really cosy, but I just don't know if it looks that cool. Like I feel like it needs to be a bit bigger and a bit longer, you know? And this was £13. I've seen a lot of people like kicking off at the minute at how much more expensive Primark has got. But yeah, I've really noticed a difference in the quality of the new clothing that Primark are bringing out. Like this jumper is just really nice, thick and soft. Yeah, I'm definitely happy to pay a little bit more if the quality is going to be better than what it was. So I'm not going to complain about it. It's still cheaper than you can get from most places. So, okay, what I did notice is they have a lot of striped items in Primark. Maybe this is like a new fashion trend. I don't really know, but I did end up picking up this it's green and white striped top. I just thought this was really like autumnal, like the dark green colour. I don't usually get like striped things, but I I feel like it would be nice to wear this with like some jeans, just instead of just having like a plain colour. It is a bit more interesting i guess and yeah it's just very like wintry vibes this is a really nice like stretchy material as well because i did get this in a 2xs which would usually be like really really small on me but because this is stretchy this like fits me perfectly i can't tell if this suits me or i just look weird in this top i don't know but i do really like it like and it's just like super stretchy material it's just not something that i'd normally wear so it's kind of weird for me to get used to it but I don't know, it is kind of nice going out for like Sunday lunch or something. I get those kind of vibes. Okay, the next thing that I picked up was another stripey item. This one is a, I can never remember what this style of top is called, like a racer top, I think. Just one of these. I know this isn't very like autumnal winter vibes, but I just love these kind of tops because they're just really comfortable to wear and you can just throw them on whenever. But you could lay this up on a cold day. You could have this with like a jumper and then like a big coat or a gilet, whatever. But yeah, I just thought this was something a bit different to have, again, with the whole stripes thing, because I don't really have anything that striped. This with, like, black bottoms and, like, a black coat just adds something a little bit different rather than just wearing, like, all black, if you know what I mean. Here is this one on. I mean, there's not really a lot to say about this. It fits me nicely. It's comfortable. It's not that see-through, which is good. Pretty basic, so not much else for me to say really okay we are now on to the last item of clothing that i got as you can tell i didn't pick up that many things from primark as much as i i wanted to pick up so many more things but they either just didn't have the things in my size that i liked or there just wasn't that many things i was like really really wanted anyway so yeah, I didn't want to just buy it for the sake of it. I'm sure like in a month's time, they're going to have so many more like winter stuff out. So I'll definitely be getting more things like pajamas. I can't believe I didn't manage to find any, like I didn't manage to find any nice pajamas. Normally this is the best time to get pajamas. So I reckon like in like a month's time, they'll have so many cute pajamas out and yeah. I'll be going back to get some of those. But anyway, the last thing that I got, which is actually, it's not pajamas, but it's in that kind of category, is I got this dressing gown, which I'm actually obsessed with. This is the cutest thing ever. It's white and it has these little red hearts all over it and it is just adorable. I've actually been needing a new dressing gown because mine's just really old and just not that nice to wear anymore. It's just not, it's lost its like fluffiness because it's been washed so many times. So I thought it was time to upgrade to a new one and yeah. 
it's just so cute and it's a really good length as well because sometimes you get them that are like get some dressing gowns that are like super super long which i don't really like i like them to be you know obviously long enough but not like stupidly long anyway so this is like perfect length because it's just below my knees and it's just so cute and so like i don't know it's just adorable and here is what the dressing gown looks like on it's so cozy i'm not gonna want to take it off after this but yeah it's just super soft i could live in this all day and then look you guys can see the length it's just perfect it's not like stupidly long but it's a good it's just a good length i love it i'm just terrified of getting it dirty because it's white but hopefully i won't i had actually seen this in primark before a couple of times but i always kind of put myself off getting it because i was just like i don't need it this time i decided to go for it because i do love it so much so yeah it's super fluffy super comfy i will be living in this every day <laughs> okay and then the last item that i got was actually a bag the bags they have in primark at the moment i'm very impressed with they have so many nice bags i was genuinely in the bag section for so long staring at these bags that i wanted but i knew i didn't need so they had loads of nice like just normal handbags which i might end up getting if i go back again because they were nice but i found this one which i really like this i don't know what style you would call this but i've seen like this style of bags is really in at the moment so i really wanted to get one that was like this because these are just so much better rather than just having like a bag that sits on your shoulder which you could wear it like that if you wanted to but the fact that it like goes over your head oh, it's just so much better so much better than having to constantly like keep trying to keep it on your shoulder like i hate that so when i saw this one in primark i was obsessed i love this they have this new kappa range out and i really like the things that they have in it i don't know why but it kind of just gives off like vintage vibes to me i don't know why but yeah i love the design of this it's got the black and white strap which will just go with like every outfit and the design is just really cool it's got like the logo all all over the bag and i feel like you can fit loads of stuff in this because of the shape of it like it's just nice and big and it's good i don't like having those tiny little handbags that you just can't fit a lot of things in especially if there's days where i'm going out where i want to vlog and i want to take my camera i need a bag that has the room for that so this is perfect so that is everything that i picked up from primark hopefully i will be back doing another one again in like november time i definitely will i know i will because i want to go back to get all my christmas things i did go in the homeware section when i went into primark and I was tempted to get some like awesome stuff but they didn't have that many things and to be honest I'd already picked up quite a few little bits from other places so I didn't really need anything. Really cute bits but I am more of a Christmas girly so I'm not huge on, I love the idea of Halloween but I'm not huge on Halloween, I am more Christmas so I'm gonna wait for the Christmas things to come out and then probably go crazy. Anyway so that's everything that I got, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul even though it was really short but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon for another one. Bye!